In the previous video we talked to you about a series of developments on China's 055 series destroyers. With the emergence of two new generation gas turbines, CGT-30M and CGT-40M, China has provided a new power option for the development of various Chinese main ships. Today we talk about the later development models of the 052D. With the emergence of China's new generation of gas turbines, how likely is it to further develop a 9,000-ton destroyer on the basis of the 052D? First of all, let's talk about the inherent impression of 9,000-ton destroyers. In the early 1990s, the United States Ollie Burke class stereotypes began to mass construction, mass service. Ollie Burke class belongs to the 9,000-ton class destroyer using four LM2500 series gas turbines for a long time. The Arla Burke class belonged to the development benchmark of many countries, for example, Japan's Kongo, Atago and Moyo classes, and South Korea's Sejong Daeng and Zhangzhou Daeng class destroyers, all belong to the derivatives of the Alibek class. In addition, Spins F100 and Australia's Hobart class are all smaller versions of the Arla Burke class. There has been a lot of debate about the 9000 ton class on the Chinese internet, for example, before the appearance of the 055, it was rumored that the 055 belonged to the 9,000 ton class. Of course, after the appearance of the 055, quickly to 13,000 tons of comprehensive configuration to break the 9,000 tons of insurmountable seal, the 055 belongs to the 13,000 ton class and adopts four sets of CGT-25M gas turbines. As for the 052D, a 7,000 ton destroyer, it uses two CGT-25M gas turbines and two MTU-12V1163 TB83 diesels, which is a diesel-fueled combined power ship. Please note that CGT-25M gas turbine only solves the problem of availability. Compared with advanced and mature foreign gas turbines, the Chinese CGT-25M gas turbine presents practical problems such as low power, low thermal efficiency and large size. Taking 052D as an example, after adopting the hybrid power of two fuels and two diesel engines, the problem of insufficient power still exists. In this environment, the 052D has a very large aspect ratio. According to foreign media reports, 052D is 157 meters long and 16 meters wide, compared with the full load displacement of more than 9,200 tons of Ollie Burke to a type 155.3 meters long and 20.4 meters wide. This shows that the length of the 052D is even slightly longer than that of the Reback class. In tonnage it is nearly 2,000 tons less. This shows that the 052D has a very high aspect ratio. An obvious problem arises when the aspect ratio is too high. In the deep ocean on the ship's overall seaworthiness has a certain impact. 50 Todd, only 7,000 tons, the officers and men's activities, space living environment, etc. is obviously not as good as the 055 and 054 type frigate. Therefore, there has been a suggestion on the network to increase the tonnage of the 052D, but China's large and medium-sized main ship in a long time, a very embarrassing problem. In the choice of shipboard gas turbine only CGT25M can be equipped for use in bulk, the lack of other power models. In 2024, China's new generation of CGT-30M and CGT-40M gas turbines with two different power levels will be unveiled for the development of China's various main force ships and the power to provide a new choice. The CGT-30M gas turbine belongs to the 30MW class gas turbine, and its output power exceeds that of the late batch of LM2500 from the US. The CGT-40M gas turbine belongs to the 40MW class gas turbine, and its output power exceeds that of the Mount 30 series gas turbine from Europe after the finalization of the two types of gas turbines. The new generation of Chinese destroyers and frigates can surely be considered for use can certainly be considered for use. Let's take 5,000 and 6,000 ton class frigates as an example. Japan's 5,500-ton class uppermost frigate adopts one European Mount 30 series gas turbine. The later improved version of Chinese 054B frigate, or 054C, can also be considered to adopt one set of CGT-40M gas turbine. There is not much problem in system weight, power output and other aspects. 
As for the further development of the 7,000-ton 052D there is controversy. There have been calls for a 9,000-ton class 052E on the internet, but the controversy about the 9,000-ton destroyer is very big. Specifically, a part of the people think that China's future 9,000-ton destroyer belongs to the enlarged size of 052D. There is also a part of the people think that the future 9,000-ton class destroyer belongs to the reduced version of 055. It must be said that the two views have their own characteristics. So if China develops 9,000-ton destroyers, in the end will favor which positioning? Personally believe that if China develops 9,000-ton destroyer, it belongs to 052D enlargement upgrade type rather than 055 shrinkage version because the overall cost of 055 is not cheap. Mainly radar and electronic equipment is expensive. The new generation of 9,000-ton destroyer, if it is 055 type of reduced type, in the radar and electronic system configuration, and 055 very close. In this way the overall cost of the ship is not much lower compared to the 055 type. In addition, because it is a reduced version of the 055 type, in the specific task division with the 055, also appeared obvious overlap. Therefore, the possibility of 055 reduced version is very small. From the comprehensive configuration of the 055 on the contrary, the possibility of further expansion is higher. For example, the 17,000-ton 055B has been a popular legend. As for the 9,000-ton destroyer, is very likely to be an enlarged and upgraded version of the 052D power system if the use of two sets of CGT30M type gas turbines, two sets of auxiliary diesel engines. Relying on the above power configuration is enough to support the use of 9,000-ton class destroyer in the ship's framework and overall layout from the 052D on the basis of further development. The aspect ratio is further reduced to enhance the seaworthiness in deep sea and ocean, and to improve the living environment and activity space for officers and soldiers. In terms of radar system and weapon system configuration, it will be upgraded and strengthened appropriately compared with 052D, but the overall change is not significant. For the positioning of the 9,000-ton destroyer, I think it still belongs to the general purpose destroyer. However, on the basis of 052D further development of 9,000 tons class, construction costs will not increase too much, conducive to mass production. Equipment combined with the actual situation of the PLA Navy, the main destroyer development will continue to maintain the framework of two kinds of destroyers, with high and low.